Okay, so uh, lead code practice problem, uh, robot root cleaner. So two goals in this video. The first one is to find a solution and do some coding. The second one is to see how we are going to do in real interview. So let's get started. Um, so remember the first step is always to try to understand the problem. If there's anything unclear, please bring up the question to the interviewer to ask the interviewer to clarify. And also at the same time, think about some edge cases that we need to take special care of. So given the uh, robot cleaner in the room modeled as grid, and each cell in the grid can be empty or blocked. And the robot cleaner with four given APIs can move forward, turn left and turn right. Each turn it made is 90 degrees when it tries to move into a block. Its bumper sensor detects the obstacle and it stays on the current cell and design an algorithm to clean the entire room using only the four given APIs below. So we have move, turn left, turn right, and clean. Okay, so clean means you clean the current cell. Turn left, turn right, so means will stay on the same cell after calling turn left and turn right. Each turn will be 90 degrees, okay? And the uh, ray turns true for the move if next cell is open and robot moves into the cell and returns false if the next cell is obstacle and the robot stays on the current cell. Um, okay. Okay, so I think, I think it's okay. I think I kind of understand the API, okay. So, um, so for example, input is like this, then all grid in the room are marked as zero, one. So zero means the room is blocked, one means the cell is accessible. The robot initially starts at the position one, three from the top uh, left corner, its position is while below and the three columns right, okay? So let's see some notes. It says, the first of all, the input is only given to initialize the room and the robot's position internally. You must solve the problem blindfolded. In other words, you must only control the robot using the full APIs mentioned, without knowing the room layout and the initial robot's position. And ro the robot's initial position will always be in an accessible cell. Three, the initial direction of the robot will be facing up. Four, all accessible cells are connected, which means that all the cells marked as one will be accessible by the robot. Five. Assuming all four edges of the grid are all surrounded by a wall. Uh, cool. Yeah, I think we pretty much understand the problem. I don't think uh, there is any edge cases at this time because based on the notes, the robot star says something for sure. Uh, a place accessible. And uh, uh, yeah, so I think that's yeah i think that's pretty much it all right so let's think about the solution so it's a maze question but what is what makes it special and makes it different from a uh, common maze question is that you can only access the four apis and we don't know the layout of the maze so i don't think yeah i think um I think we, since we don't know the layout, um, it's still pretty much just that we, yeah, I think the best way we could do is if we use recursion plus backtracking. And also we can uh, record the cell we have already visited uh, so that we don't need to visit it next time. Uh, so I think that's pretty much about the solution. Um, and the runtime for this, uh, for this would be all of n and is the number of the, the number of the grade, uh, we need to clean, like the number of the accessible grade, the number of the ones. So that's the total runtime. Okay. So let's do some coding part. So the thing that makes it special is how we, because it's a robot and we need to make sure that the control of the robot online with which direction we are trying to move. So that makes 
that's pretty much like a maze, a common maze question, plus like the operation on the robot move. All right, so let's see for this one. Uh, let's define. First of all, let's define a um, um, set that contains um, uh, the 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 position we have already cleaned. Then we are going to define a recursive function. Let's call uh, let's call clean room again to just overload it. So we call robot and then we start at zero zero because we don't know which position it's at. We just have the current position at zero zero. Then uh, clean. And also uh, we may need to have another uh, parameter, which is uh, which direction the robot is facing. Because um, at, at one time, the robot can only have uh, one facing direction. So I would say the robot, uh, there are three status. One is the row it is at, the column it is at. And the third one is um, which direction it is facing. So this is the direction it's facing. So let's see. Um, private, okay, private, clean, void, uh, clean room. This is the robots, the row and column, and uh, this is the facing direction, and also we have the side of the pairs. That's integer, integer, this is the, um, so this is clean. All right, so the first one, we are going to call the robot.clean to clean the car cell. And also we are going to set, uh, we are going to uh, insert the current cell into the our set, uh, which is row and the column. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to go for to the four directions. So let's say we are going to go uh, clockwise, then it is going to be directions as, uh, so first one, let's define as um, go up, it means minus one, zero. And then counterclockwise, sorry, clockwise is going to be uh, face moving right, which is zero and one. And then down bottom is one, zero, and then left is going to be zero and uh, minus one. All right, so that's all the four directions, and uh, we are going to try to go through the four directions. So in i is equal to zero, s smaller than four, plus plus i. So the interesting part is uh, we need to consider the four directions as well as the direction we are facing. So so let's say currently we are facing at left. Then it means facing currently facing. If it is facing up, then uh, the next try is going to be up. If it is facing left, we should start from the last last thing. So let's say um, let's say this is directions. So let's say the direction the next step it is moving is direction as uh, int direction as directions um, let's say this is facing plus i and divided by uh, sorry um, modular 4 mod 4 so this is the direction it is moving I would say if uh, next position let's say uh, pair next pose is equal to new pair um, row plus the direction zero and the column plus direction one. All right, so this is the next position. If, um, if clean doesn't contain the next position and we are okay to move there, then we are just going to call the clean room uh, robot uh, row plus direction zero, uh, 
half was direction one and the facing is uh, facing plus i uh, divided by four and then uh, the clean thing yeah so that's it and um, yeah and and after going through this print we also need to go backtracking because if we don't go backtracking the robot may just duck suppose it's some some graph like this and the suppose the robot go all the way like this way to the bottom left corner and since all the things has been have been visited then it cannot go back so the robot gets stuck so we need to um, we need to have it to go back so private void back um, so you're gonna call the robot the robot so how to go back we are going to so we are going to turn it clockwise okay so we are going to call robot dot turn right uh, and then turn right so and then we call robot dot move and we want to have it facing the same direction as before so we are going to turn call another two turn right all right so that's the back and then and then if uh and after we have tried to go to the next position it's time it's time for us to just um uh try the next direction for example the first try is to move up then the next try is to move right so because we also need to control the 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 robot at the same time so we need to cut this one all right so let's check this one so there are four directions so suppose it is the initial facing is this uh, and then the next direction is moving is actually we get the next direction we are going to move and the next potential position if the clean already contains if it doesn't contain the next position and the robot has already moved into it then you just call here all right uh facing plus one divided by four uh, sorry mod by four this is the new facing this is the next facing yes um okay so i think we should be good let's give it a try so testing i don't really so testing usually means that you need to go through some sample test case explain how this piece of code is going to work do some sanity check uh, and then try to increase different test coverage but for this one thing regarding test coverage i think this is pretty much enough uh, i don't really want to spend that time with your time uh listening me to explain so i say let's just uh, use this platform to is to explore it so the next uh, okay let's fix the typos we have currently so the back is robot okay all right so yeah so i think that's it it's clean our room let's do a submission for it okay so it's good now yeah so as i said it's a maze question plus uh, operating on the robot which makes it a harder if it doesn't have the robot manipulation maybe it's a medium question yeah so that's it for this uh, coding question if you have any uh, question about this uh, solution uh, please leave some comments below if you like this video please uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, i'll see you next time thanks for watching